So yes. have we made up our minds essentially that it's impossible for Labour to win this? Or are there, are there any, are, I mean, if we bring in demographics, I mean, for the first time in a long time, we've seen a lot more of the 18 to 24 year olds going out there registering to vote, whether they all make it out on the day to do it. Could, could that swing things at all? I don't think that Labour have got any chance whatsoever. That's putting my... I, I, I think that uh, they've got a chance of increasing the number of seats. Uh, but they... Remember, at the last general election, they got completely wiped out in Scotland. Uh, uh, Scotland has 59 seats. They, they held 41 of them. They went into the last election two years ago, and they came out with a single seat. So they're in a total and appalling situation. And, and, and they're not going to make any progress coming back to seats in Scotland. So the chances of them actually getting the seats together to, so Corbyn can become PM really looks very, very slim indeed. That's, that, that's my view. Does, does anyone we think actually, that there, um, oh. No, carry on. Does anyone think that there is a potential sort of anti-Brexit vote um, still lurking out there and that Labour will benefit from this? Yes. Labor are more likely to benefit. I think, you'll I think you'll find an anti-Brexit vote in areas where there's sort of, you know, good education, people are well-educated, where there's a high remain area. Uh, you, you might see, I think the Conservatives might be in some trouble holding on to sort of places like Oxford. Uh, there's certainly some places, you know, in, 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 in the cities where that's where that, that, is, that is likely. Uh, but in the rest of the country, no, that's not an issue. 